Thanks to Suno AI 4.5 Plus, you can now use a simple drum loop to produce a full-length AI song with vocals that will match any tempo or BPM in whichever genre that you want, along with the exact time frame down to the seconds. And you will be able to take each part of the song called the stems and remix it entirely in any DAW of your choice, such as FL Studio, to create a well-polished studio quality version of that song that you just generated, allowing for full, complete, maximum control over the song, which can include mixing and mastering it. First, any DAW of your choice, create a drum loop and make it as long as you want the song to be. Afterwards, save it as an MP3. Now on Suno, go to the Create section on the website. Then at the top, choose Audio and select Upload. From here, you will choose the drum loop that you just created. Once done, select Save, and when it's complete, then you can select Continue. In your workspace, go to your song and click on the three dots. Go to Remix slash Edit, then choose Add Vocals. This will create both the instrumental and vocals once done. Next in the Lyrics section, choose Full Song, then using the Remy Lyrics model type, write out what you want the lyrics to be about, and AI will generate it. Once done, select which version that you want. Next, copy these lyrics and paste them into any LLM of your choice. For this example, we'll be using Gemini. Now, the reason why we do this step is because, at the moment, Suno seems to be having a hard time creating lyrics that match the entire length of the song using this method. Once in your LLM, tell the AI that the lyrics that you are going to paste in are for whatever genre that the song is in. Then tell the AI to write out the full-length song using this exact format and then go ahead and paste in your lyrics. This way, you get an extended version of the lyrics while keeping it in the same exact format that Suno generated those lyrics for you. Next, copy these new lyrics and paste them into the lyrics section on Suno AI. Afterwards, the next section is the style. By default, Suno should have wrote something as the style because it's guessing what kind of genre it is from the drum loop sample that you uploaded. You can, of course, modify this to your liking. This next part you can experiment with, but these are the settings that I highly advise to use when first attempting this. Make the awareness 0% and the other two, which is style influence and audio influence, 100%. This will keep AI using the style that you intended along with keeping the BPM or tempo. Now through various experiments, I have found that I was able to produce similar results with tweaking these settings, but this is just for a starting point. Once everything looks good, click create. Two songs will generate. Choose whichever one that you like the most, or you could even use both versions. For simplicity, we will choose one version. Next, you will go to the song of your choice, select the three dots, and choose Get Stems. This part is important. You will choose All Detected Stems to Extract. This will give you every single stem of that song so that you have maximum control over the entire song production. Once it's done extracting, you will choose WAV as the audio format to save the files in because this retains the uncompressed versions which will keep the quality of the stems as high as possible. Then choose Download All which will package them together in a zip file. Once downloaded, extract the zip file and import all of the stems into the DAW of your choice. For this example, I will be using FL Studio. From here, make sure that you are still on the same BPM that you created the drum loops in. What you will need to do next is turn on the metronome, which will keep you on beat when the song plays, and you will need to sound test it to see if it is on beat. Chances are, it might be a little bit off beat and you will need to trim the beginning parts of it just a little bit, like I do, until it starts to sound like it is on beat. Make sure to select all stems at once when doing this so it matches up evenly. Once done, you can then start modifying the song and actually begin producing the track. As an example, I will show you how I can swap out the different drum loops when playing the song, such as house, then dubstep, then rap, and then finally pop. If you found this helpful, consider subscribing to the channel for more AI music production content.